So today in this video, I'm going to show you our new Zigbee single color strip dimming controller and our Zigbee single color remote control and how to pair them with your Amazon Echo Plus. Well, these also work with the uh, the Google equivalent and actually any other device that uses the Zigbee protocol, uh, like the Philips Hue smart home system. Uh, this single color controller has a wide input voltage range uh, from 12 to 36 volts, so it can match the operating voltage of your LED strip. Uh, you also have four outputs at five, uh, um, at five amps each, and all four of these are going to work in the same zone. Uh, it is possible to bridge two of the output channels together, making it one 10 amp output. Uh, but bridging all four is going to damage the controller. So you can bridge a maximum of two, as I said, to make a 10 amp output. Uh, there are wiring guard diagrams for this on the uh, respective product page. So, first time you use the Echo Plus, uh, you're going to want to download the Amazon Alexa app uh, from your app store. Follow the instructions uh, to sign in with your Amazon account and also your Wi-Fi network. Well, on this simple setup, I have my 100 watt driver here connected to my single color Zigbee controller, connected to my 240 LEDs, a meter warm white LED strip. Now when you power on the controller for the first five minutes, it's going to be available to be paired with. Now that's important to remember, uh, well for now and also later on when you're connecting them to your, uh, to your Echo Plus, to your remote. Now, so, on power on. Uh, it's always going to be a good idea to reset your Zigbee controller first, especially if it's been paired with another device before. Uh, you're going to want the LEDs to be pulsing, like you can see in the camera just there. Uh, this means they're ready to be paired with your Amazon Echo Plus. Uh, I will show you how to reset the device. Yeah, you've got a little program button in the middle there. Click that five times. One, two, three, four, five. You'll see the LEDs flash. And then, well, now they're going to not pulse. They're going to have a be on a flat white. We want them to be pulsing, so let's reset it again. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for the flash, and they should continue to pulse. So, next, you're going to want to go to your Alexa app. I'm not sure if you can see this very well in the, uh, the screen. We'll try our best. Um, so go to the X app, go to Smart Home, which uh, at the time recording this video is now at the bottom right hand side. Uh, it does seem to change every time I get back onto it. Uh, click the plus icon in the top right. Add device. You want to add a light. And when it asks you what brand is your light, just scroll all the way down to other. Discover devices. Now remember, this can only be discovered if it's been powered on in the last five minutes, which it definitely has. So let's wait that. Now while it's uh, discovering... Um, what it should do while it's discovering the LEDs will flash solid uh, solid on off um, a few times that means it's connecting the app will take quite a while to catch up it normally does now if you had more than one controller in the mix you follow the same steps Alexa would discover both the controllers uh, if they've been powered on within the last five, five minutes and she'll call them well she'll call this one first light and the other one if you have another one second light third light etc uh, you will be able to rename these uh, to whatever you want to name them to uh, for example dresser light shelf light so on and so forth you're also going to be able to group them um, um, in the app. So by using the command turn group 1 to 50% brightness, it will change all of the LEDs in that group. Pretty much like the zones on the remote control that I'll show you later. So you did see that while I was talking, you saw the LEDs flashing just there. If I hold you this, it says one light discovered. Done. So it's called this one. If you go into light, it's called this first light. Go to first light, and you can change the brightness from the app. Let's change it to around 50%. See the strips change. Let's go down to 1%, and now you also have a voice command. Alexa, turn first light to 100%. There you go. Alexa, turn first light to 50%. Alexa, turn first light to 10%. There you go. So, next step is for connecting your remote to Alexa as a device, which you're going to need to do before you pair it with your Zigbee single color controller via TouchLink. So the first things first, it's a good idea to, uh, to, reset, the, uh, to, the, to reset the remote. If you, uh, the on-off button just in the middle, if you hold that down, wait till the red indicator light turns on in the top right corner, like so, and then you press that five times. One, two, three, four, five. It will flash, blink, and now you know it's reset. A quick way to tell if it's uh, to, if it has been reset, if you uh, turn it on and press any of the commands, it will blink three times at you to show that it's not paired to any device. So be ready with your remote control. But next, you're going to want to go back to the Alexa app. Go back to uh, so add. Uh, go back to the smart home page. Press the plus button in the top right. You're going to want to add a device, and you're going to want to add a switch. 
Again, I'm gonna ask you what brand, scroll all the way back down, press other. Now get ready with your remote control. So discover devices. Next, press and hold the on off button in the middle. Once the red indicator light turns on, you wanna press S1 in the bottom left. And it will flash to show that it's looking. You can see the red indicator light flashing. Um, and Alexa, well, you can see it in the video, but she's also flashing. And you can see it blinked a few times to show me that it's connected. It will take a while for the app to catch up. If you have a look there. Now when it does discover it, it's gonna call it first switch. Again, you can change the name of it, whatever you want. You haven't got much control of it in the app, but again, you I mean, you don't really need to have control of the app because you have it as a remote control. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's quickly check up. One switch discovered, done. And you can see that switch there, first switch. So, the control is connected to Alexa, but next you need to control it to, uh, sorry, next you need to, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna pair it to your single color remote uh, using TouchLink. Uh, for this, the remote controller have to, the remote, sorry, the remote and the controller have to be really close to each other, about 10 centimeters max distance. Um, so again, make sure your uh, make sure your controller has been powered on within the last five minutes. So let's just double check that. Otherwise, it's not going to pick it up. Turn it off. Switch it back on. You'll notice that the LEDs aren't pulsing now, and that's purely because they're connected to the uh, uh, to the app and, and to Alexa now. So turn on the remote. Press. Uh, pre you're going to want to turn on the remote. Press what zone you want it to power it in. So switch it on. Red indicator light. Let's go with the zone one for this example. Then you're going to want to hold down the on off button till the indicator light flashes. Then you want to click S2 and make sure it's right on the device. You can see the red indicator light blinking away. And again, this can take uh, quite a while. And once it's done, the LEDs should flash like so. There you go. So that's basically telling you that now the remote control is paired with the controller via TouchLink. So now we're connected, we have control via the app, voice commands and the remote. Let's just check out the remote. So we've got, so we've got low brightness there, getting brighter, getting brighter and getting brighter. Uh, there's a four zone remote, so you can have uh, up to four zones. You can have any number of controllers in one zone I'll go through a few of the functions uh, just now, actually. So you've got the brightness wheel in the middle that you just saw. Touch it anywhere that you uh, anywhere you want to make it uh, what to either dim or brighten up the strips. The numbers below, you've got uh, four. Oh, you've got the zones: the one, two, three, four. I'll get get this in focus if I can. So you've got one, two, three, four below it. So it can support up to four zones with as many controllers paired in each zone as you will need. Uh, then around the middle power button here, you've got, I wonder if I can get a better view, around the the, uh, the middle power button, you have got these, there you go, these four buttons. So you have in the top left, if I can, if you can see the strip as well, you've got quarter brightness. You've got quarter brightness, uh, half brightness, three quarters brightness, and full brightness. I'll go for that again, so quarter, half, three quarters, and four. Uh, at the bottom, these S1, S2, S3, you have the save buttons. So if you hold it down on a certain set and you like it, it will save it. All you have to do is, uh, and then all you have to do is short press the uh, the save button to go to that save setting. So let's say, for example, turn on the remote first. Let's go to a, uh, a low brightness, hold S1 down. It will save that. And now if we go to full brightness, short press S1 again, it goes back to that. The uh, the setting that is saved, so you can have more than one single color control um, in the mix if you need more than one zone. Follow the same steps to connect it. Uh, the remote will allow it to four zones, and you can have more than one controller paired in the same zone. Uh, this will also work standalone without having to connect to another Zigbee device like the Echo Plus. You just need to follow the last step where we paired this and this with TouchLink. Um, but please note, if you do then want to add an Echo Plus into the mix, you have to reset both the remote and controller and start all of these steps from scratch. So there you have our new single color Zigbee controller and our single color four zone Zigbee remote. Alexa, turn first light off. Mm -hmm.